Part of the dress code for leaders shouldn't be suits. Because then I feel like I could outdress, outclass, and out intimidate my leader. And when I think of suits, I think of hmm, job interviews. I think of a regular workday, business professional. I don't think of a world leader when I think of a suit. I think of something more corporate. But not corporate in a fascist sense. I think of corporate in a very... Meh. We're out to make a profit. Uh, and have a whack little political agenda. I don't feel the intimidation. Especially when... Presidents tend to wear kind of dressy suits. I feel like they're showing up more to a party than to actually uh, showcase their stuff. I think that's how it feels like to me more. Granted, the prince, the presidents back then, that they wore suits. At least with them, the suits kind of didn't have that dressy vibe. When I look at an Obama, I think, wow, he looks like he's ready to accept the Grammy Award, not to essentially blow up a bunch of kids with drones. That does kind of bother me. With a dictator, with all these guys, they kind of dress militaristically. It's bunchy, it's not very form-fitting, uh, but it's very intimidating. Like, I feel like they have some military experience that they're ready to kill somebody if they could, even if they don't, even if they won't. The clothes make the men. Power is knife temp status, and status is knife temp perception. That's why people look at me and they think, wow, what a boring fucktard because I'm not here in a shirt with uh, sweat stains and the armpits and semen stains. Uh, I have my, I didn't blow dry my hair. Uh, and I'm scrunching it all over with a mask and some like ass facial hair. And they got these jizz shorts, like really? Okay, they're... What are they? Cargo pants. They're cargo shorts, really. No one here is going to take me serious. Now, in my videos where I am dressed nicely, people are thinking, Wow, this guy's looking good. Uh, he's looking handsome. He's looking like... Someone whose opinion matters, even when I'm reviewing a Japanese animated porno about occultism. Because this clothes make them mad. But of course, if n people are, are going to take me seriously as a blogger just dressed with a collared shirt that's freshly ironed and matches everything else and complements it very well, how are you going to take a nigga that fucking wears like something Leonardo DiCaprio might wear if he had less of a body seriously nah it, it, it's not gonna fucking happen nigga how am I gonna be intimidated by half these artists that are supposed to be examples of our generation's music I mean, niggas back then had Mozart. They had fucking Mozart, Beethoven, Bach. They had a whole Renaissance era. This was back when music had the religious narrative. Even if it was Masonic, it was still badass. And we got fucking Kanye dressed in Chanel, looking like a fucking homo. Drake had a whole meme about when he was wearing all that FUBU shit, I don't, I don't even know if it's called FUBU that, those boots, that black and yellow shit, 
Look at that. <laughs> he looks like he's four. One time I was sleeping in uh, my dad's best friend's place because I didn't go to sleep in 36 hours, so I just took a nap on the couch while they were watching some fantasy shit. And this kid, like, he approached me, his four-year-old, with sunglasses, the hat turned to the side, the big, tight, strong man shirt and the shorts, looking like fucking flow right now, and he was trying to flex me, he was trying to deck me, he was trying to hit me, he was trying to intimidate me, he pressed me, nigga, he had his shoulders looking tough and shit right there, he did the sunglasses thing, and the... He did try to strike fear into my heart. I was like, wow, this thing is adorable. Can you imagine Obama trying to intimidate a nigga? Like, he needs secret services when he's making an appearance at Build a Bear Workshop, nigga. This guy is soft as hell. He needs a world leader. A leader of a free world was such a big deal since that slang for the biggest place in Western civilization, apparently. That nigga should be showing up dressed intimidatingly. If he's gonna wear a suit, it's not gonna be something that's um, slimming. He's not supposed to look like he's trying to pose a picture in Time Magazine as the sexiest man in the world, or GQ, nigga. We don't need a GQ, nigga. We need a nigga that can strike intimidation. So he needs to get one of them bunchy suits with them shoulders. He needs to get that shit triple-breasted, quadruple-breasted, quintuple-breasted, nigga. Whatever, man. He he needs he needs some fucking breasting in that shit. He needs like the tie needs to like the belt, nigga. He needs like a belt that if your dad had and he was ready to whoop your ass, nigga, you would be crying, man. It would be like your darkest hour, nigga. That that's what he fucking needs, man. He he doesn't need this Italian shoe shit, nigga. Look at some Italian shit, nigga. You need to look like you're ready for the fucking fifth fucking Reich World War Seven uh, Cold War Three fucking Armageddon Three Thousand fuck nigga. That, that's what he needs to look like. He doesn't need to look like he's trying to impress his ex, nigga. He doesn't need to look like he's mourning the loss of his. X. Not not that she died, that she dumped his ass, or she didn't respond to his text. Uh, that's what he needed to look like. Because she didn't look like Trey Songs. It's Mr. Wonka 7, and... This is gross. Uh, suck my dick.